All right, so this is uh, something, something else, something different. And I uh, wanted to put this out for you guys. So the history of telekinesis. So when you look at uh, Jesus and performing miracles, he created the matrix. He created these things. And he knew that you could do these things. Now, uh, who else knew? You know? And it was the spirits. The angels. They were there during the creation. They knew that those things would work. In that, that means that they understand that when they think a certain way and they believe it a certain way and add encouragement and all types of things, that they can do that. That's why they were able to take over with the women when they came to Earth. Now, they knew exactly what it was. In the time of uh, Egypt and all that, they were trying to, uh, they gave that information to man. That information, but they did it in a way that was rebellious to God. So the information that they had received, man received, was, they learned what it was and how to do that, but they didn't know they, they would give worship to, to the spirits for it. Such also gave the birth of witchcraft and stuff. So, the knowledge of witchcraft is not, uh, is sort of the same thing of that, but it's not. Because it is what was given from Jesus first. So because Jesus gave it first and it was created through Jesus, they, the spirits in rebellion had people give them credit for it. This information was passed down all the way in the place where you call the Illuminati and the, the, the Pope knew about this. They all knew about that and hid it from the world and used it to control the world. Now that that information is out, people have to understand and know that it is from God. Now in my personal ministry, what I'm doing is yoking these things back to the original what they were supposed to be. Now, having faith in, like with Moses, having faith in God and the angels by their side, he was able to do those things. Now, moving forward, the others, or as far as witchcraft and those, they did it by the power of the spirits that was there, but those people had doubt within themselves. They weren't right within in certain areas because of what it was. And Moses beat them out every time. Now, that's because he gave the credit to, to God. Now, where the way things are now, in my ministry, and what I'm trying to do is show people that this is the truth. And God does exist. And His love and His true message is so powerful that all will bow their knee to God because of 
the immensity of this gift. And not just the gift of, of uh, the matrix. The gift of mercy. The gift of love. The understanding that nothing can happen without it. And why it is so important. So that means that those spirits that once were, when I say I ministered to them, I did. When I said that it works to where it the message is so strong it overcomes even them, it does. And they have put me to the test. They try to, you know, beat me in this, that, and the third and understand through faith and love most of them had to say, hey, you know what? That's the truth. And others where they didn't want that. You remember? I, I put something out there about the key to the abyss. But through belief and understanding, that construct is still with me. Which means it's real. And yes, they see the testimony of that as well. So it's like, wow, this dude really is who he is. But who is he? Nobody, really. I'm just a regular guy. But um, the closest thing that is to who I am, that is said in the Bible, is Elijah. But everyone is Elijah. Anyone who is setting matters straight and preparing the way for Jehovah. Preparing the way for Jesus. That's the job of the John class. That is the job of Elijah. When he comes back. He has come. And yet he will come. Elijah. Again. Later. That's what that means. And I, I've been blessed with this insight. Majorly through, um, through my own life and testimony that goes all the way back, even into my relationship with Jehovah, with God, and what He has given me as far as authority-wise. Because I would know that an anointed person isn't anointed when they're called. I had to live that. I know the difference. It's hard for some to believe, but if you have understanding and reason as meat and potatoes and not as milk, then you will understand that that is the truth. It's true. If you believe it, but it still has to be initiated by him that means you have to believe it so much that even God will be like hey it's yours and not and not take it it's not something you take it's something that is given and only he will do that and it is tested like I say they test you they will test you you will get your butt beat and you have to I'm, I'm not going to go through the through it, but you have to hold strong. And through these tests, and, and standing firm, and to my integrity, that is what. And and let me mind you, smoking cigarettes or cursing is not what you consume. It's what. Is what you, is what comes out of your heart. I, 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 you know, I'm not trying to condone smoking. I'm not, because it, it can stumble your brother. It can stumble anybody because of what was told to people. So it's not technically something that is good because of your brother. Not be, not so much because of the facts behind it. Your lungs are the fastest repairing organ in your body. 
that in your skin, but your lungs are Debo, and it's because it's next to your heart. Everything is connected. So knowing these things and understanding these things gave me the authority and the, the bravery to understand those things of self-mastery, which I realized came from the depths of witchcraft, but was understood differently because it was scientific. After scientific finding, it was not considered witchcraft. This is considered science. So it goes even deeper. Now they found that it is through Jesus, through Christ, who made it. So hence where I stand and the ministry that I am giving even to the spirits which denotes me as a false prophet that is listening to inspired expressions from demons but yet not demons because they're not demons anymore. And yet I don't listen to them. I do what I'm supposed to do as far as doing the most loving thing you can do based on the scriptures to your brother, to God first, and to your brother, and to, well, to yourself, and to your brother. So if I'm doing it in that order, how could Satan cast out Satan? He can't. It goes extremely deep, which kind of shakes even me. You have to understand. <laughs> so, with this being said, this is the full-on message. And know the truth that this ministry is from God 